In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to block or blacklist a lost or stolen Android phone. The first thing is, the first thing is, let me break it to you. Your brand or company that uh, you have a phone from cannot block or blacklist your Android device. Like, for instance, you may be having a OnePlus device or a Samsung device. You cannot call them to ask them to blacklist your phone. They wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, they are just into manufacturing and uh, you know providing service for hardware and software. They don't have access to blocking the IMA number for lost or stolen devices. Get that straight. Now, having said that, what you could do is, number one, call up your service provider. So whether you have a physical SIM or an eSIM, I'm sure it is connected to a specific network like AT&T or Vodafone or whatever it is, right? You could call these guys up. Okay, and ask them to see if they have an option to block your phone using its IMA number. So if they have an option, they are going to go ahead and block the phone using its IMA number. And once it is blocked, the phone is not going to register anymore with any other networks. This mostly works with uh, postpaid connections and it's very effective. But with prepaid connections, this may just be possible. So you could give it a try if your network service provider has that option. If they are able to block it or blacklist your phone, that's fantastic. It's at least going to get blacklisted or blocked so that if anybody else finds your phone, they cannot misuse it. But if they cannot do it, then the next step is to do a search using the application from Google itself called Find My Device. Just type in Find My Device on Google search. You get all the results. Click on Find My Device. Once you do that, you have to log in with the same email address that was on the lost phone. After you do that, you are going to see the last location of the phone or you may just find the phone. Just follow the map, okay, wherever you see the phone. And if your phone is there, you could just retrieve it. I mean, physically go out, okay, get to the location and try to get it. If you get your phone back, that's fantastic, right? But if you do not, the next thing to do is erase the device at least. So if you click on erase the device, all your content, which is synced to your Google account that you signed in with, it's going to get erased. At least your data is not going to get misused. Okay. You could even play sound or you could secure or lock your device, but this is not going to be that effective. Okay. So this erasing the device thing is going to be super effective in such cases in which uh, you are not able to find your phone. Again, your phone has to be online. Okay. If your phone is not online, this is not going to work. The next thing to do is file in an FIR with the police station or file in a report with the police station for your lost phone so that they could register that complaint and give you a signed copy of a document. You keep that document for you for your future reference. If somebody else finds your phone and tries to misuse it, you are not going to be pulled up for it. Okay. Now, if you are in India, you could also do one more thing. You could get onto this website called ceir.gov.in. This is basically a department who caters to lost or stolen Android or Apple devices or devices that have an IMEI number. Click on CEIR services, click on block stolen or lost mobile phone. Get onto this page, fill up this form, upload the FIR copy or the police complaint document out here and you take it from there. You complete this form. Okay, you are going to get a request ID. You need to keep that. In case your phone is found, you need to use that request ID to unblock your phone. Okay, you could even unblock the IMAI number using this option, unblock found mobile phone. So whatever may be the case, if you are in India or if you are from a different location like USA or Canada or whatever it is, the first thing you need to do is try calling your network service provider to blacklist your Android device because it's misplaced. And the second thing is you have to file in a complaint with the police station so that you are absolutely safe. Tomorrow, if uh, somebody finds a phone and they try to misuse it, you are not going to get pulled up for whatever you know comes up in the future. I hope I was able to provide some value to you through my video for today. If I did, give my video a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.